Hi, beautiful souls. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful nature. Beloved hedgerow, dear skylarks, flying up and down despite the, the wild wind. It's a lot of wild wind, a lot of, a lot of active energy from the elementals. And of course the elementals are just replying to the humans. The humans have whipped them up into a frenzy again. Our dear elemental friends, they need your blessings, they need your love. Please bless them and love them, and respect them. Calm, calm, calm. I love you elementals, calm. Do you ever hear the cries in the wind? Through timelines, through dimensions, the emotional energy, the elementals whipping it up, a bit like dogs in many ways, trying to, to ground that charge. Often when people look at a dog and the dog is acting up, they think there's something up with the dog. Well, yeah, because of you, because of your emotional energy. Energy is, is everything. And that's why when we act with love, through love, with love, in all that we do, we assist everything. We assist everything. My emotional energy, I must say, has not been particularly great uh, recently, not since I was given the diagnosis that I had a tumour in my liver. And, you know, that unsteadied me. I was very fortunate to get away for a week and spend a week with my sister, my sister-in-law and their dog, Hamish. And that did me a world of good, just to get out of my normal environment and get out into the beautiful Scottish countryside and breathe in air that smelt and tasted different to my senses. But I still had the work to do and I was still pulled into this, into this uh, fear narrative that often the medical professionals instill into you. We we're going to prepare for the worst, but we hope for the best. You're going to need to do this. It's not looking good. You know, all these things that they fire at you whilst in and out of, of dense, dense uh, institutional places like hospitals and, and, you know, where it's a really heavy energy, a real dense energy and looking around at all of the faces filled with fears and you know that their minds are working overtime you know that they haven't been sitting out in nature or maybe there may be one or two that have but the majority are very imbalanced and you pick up a lot of that and you try to sort yourself out but as you collect a lot of density in your field you attract more of the same so if you're not careful before you know it you're really out of balance and then I had to go to the hospital the other day and they, they told me a whole lot of stuff about this new treatment that I begin next week and it was all really heavy and I felt frustrated because I hadn't been told the full extent of what I was expected to do and I feel like gosh this is such a taking of my freedoms I'll be in the hospital every week and all of this and I try to reframe it consider myself blessed to be given this opportunity that this may actually assist my journey but still I got in the car and I cried and then I gathered myself and I got home and and then I had a little bit of a, a sort of little bit of a breakdown <laughs> a release of uh, energy and that scared my dog and he got scared um, because he could see that I was frustrated and I was stressed out and so when I took him for his final wee of the day, he wouldn't wee. He was too anxious to wee. And we're talking about a dog that's very, very shut down, presents a bit like somebody who is um, autistic because he's spent 
six years in a shelter in a very small space so it's taking time to rehabilitate him but he's making great progress and so for the last few days I've had to work on that um, since Friday in fact since Friday night I've had to work on sorting myself out and go come on Zaza this is not who you are this is not you what's going on here and then I remember that I'd kind of said to myself you know I'm at peace with it all which I'm tr it's true I'm at peace with it all but you can't surrender you can surrender to attach without attachment yes that's true but you cannot surrender to to like give up and embrace life at the same time you you have to choose and I had th been been believing or attempting to do both and that's not how it works. You have to either embrace life fully because you're the one that's creating everything. And this is a note to myself, you know, uh, sometimes when we get in our heads and we get out of our hearts, we make problems for ourselves. When it's once we drop back into our hearts, we, we see, we see through our heart and that's when we know where we need to tweak what we've been up to, get back into the presence, get back into the heart get back into the heart and so in that moment or at least in these moments since Friday I've been working on myself and yesterday being at a crystal fair seeing a dear friend who I haven't seen for a while again re you know reaffirming live life embrace life you know Dave real uh, live life all of those people that I have told about my situation you know stay positive and stuff and so this is what I'm doing. I'm now like, yes, I must, I must embrace life. I must get back into this, this space. So I, I ask for forgiveness, dear elementals, for my part in, in whipping you up into a frenzy. I know that it's not down to me because there are many of us that have got stuff going on and uh, everybody's stuff is, is unique to them. But I send peace through all time, space and realities, through all timelines, to my dear elemental friends and to all natural kingdoms. And I love you and I wish you peace, relaxation, joy, light and a smoother path ahead so that you may ascend like all beings ascend and feel the harmony and the joy. <sighs> and feel the harmony and the joy. God bless you, my dear elemental friends. Calm, calm, calm. All of you, if you're going through any troubles, any heavy navigations right now because I know that so many of us are don't ever give up hope believe in yourself and choose to be around people that are positive I mean I have got some friends that are also going through some really heavy stuff and I actually it's not been good for me to be talking heavy stuff with anybody like I can't I have to focus because when I can focus and be lighter then I can I can hold space for others but if I'm feeling heavy and then other people put their heavy burdens on me then that's not going to help anyone we have to make sure we take good care of ourselves so the first thing is like to notice if you're feeling out of balance and get out into nature and do whatever you have to do to get yourself into a good feeling because otherwise what you'll do is you'll feel heavy and then you'll attract more heaviness and then before you know it it takes a bit bit longer to get out of that 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 space believe in yourself trust in the way drop into your heart every time your mind starts racing drop back into your heart back into your heart presence I love you all thank you for watching my name is Zaza peace love joy to every heart from mine to yours